Mr. 47 was the assassin who was sent by the bad guys on our last episode to attack the villagers of Sugarville. His ruthless and fierce tactics shook up everyone in the gun battle that occurred. 47's objective was to assassinate all guardians of Sugarville due to the fear of their numbers and fighting soldiers growing. Get down! Unfortunately, little Jesse kept sticking his head out in fear, okay. calling for Master Chief, resulting in Batman being shot by saving his life. Is Batman dead? Batman. Find out Batman. coming up on Jesse's World. Batman, wake up! Batman! Batman, don't go. Daddy, Daddy, I'm scared. Is Batman going to die? We don't know, son. All we can do is just wait. Let's hope for the best. He's gonna make it. He's gonna make it. He has to make it. He'll make it, Spider-Man. Don't worry. <laughs> this can't be happening. Look, here she comes. So how is he doing, Doctor? Well, everyone, I just finished up a rating on Batman, and he's in critical condition. I don't know what's gonna happen. Wait, what do you mean you don't know what's gonna happen? Spider-Man... <sighs> he's in a coma. And he could wake up tomorrow, next week, next month, or he may never wake up. Oh, no! This is terrible! At this moment, there is nothing else we can do but wait to see what happens. It's too bad he got shot. He's always been very careful to avoid gunfire. And now, I hate to say this, but we might lose him. Come on, Izzy. Let's go home. I'll fix you your favorite bowl of carrots. <laughs> okay, Daddy. Where did little Jesse go? Hmm. Wait a minute. I think I know where he's at. Yeah, I know. I thought you might be here by Batman's headquarters. How are you doing, little Jesse? Are you okay? It's my fault he got shot. Little Jesse, it's nobody's fault that this happened. And it most certainly is not your fault. So don't think that. But it is. You told me to stay down, and I kept coming back up. <sighs> Batman is the one who saved me from that bullet. Little Jesse, as superheroes, our job is to protect people and fight evil. If we don't, then innocent people get hurt. And if the innocent get hurt, it means we aren't doing our job. So Batman did what he was supposed to do. And I'm sure he would tell you himself if he was here right now. I asked Batman to go with you and he told me he would protect you. And he did. He did what he was expected to do. Just like what a hero, a superhero, is supposed to do. I hope he comes back. I do too, little Jesse. I do too. Come on, let's go get some Oreo cookies and milk. I think that'll make you feel better. <laughs> scare you like that. <laughs> Don't be afraid. We won't hurt you. Who are you? What do you want? My name is Freddy. We're just looking for someone to help us out. And this is Bonnie. What's up, dude? Foxy. He has the injured eye. Oh. We're looking for help for him. Hey. And that's Chica. Hello there, little boy. Where did you come from? To be honest, we don't remember. We just woke up in the middle of the forest one day, hmm? without a clue of where we came from. Hmm. 
There was a tree branch on top of Foxy's head. If we don't get help soon, he could die, as he's bleeding a lot. We're hoping that someone can help us. Perhaps he can help us out, and I'll be your best friend. <laughs> Will you be nice enough to help us out? Um, yeah. I know someone who can help. Wait, right here. Okay. Foxy, how are you doing back there? My eyes are clinging up, Freddy. What do you think? Calm down, Foxy. Help's on the way. Yes, help is on the way. Well, I think he's going to help us. I hope so. He looks like a nice young man who's very kind, caring, and very sharing. He seems very caring, and he even left some of his cookies to share with us. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh! <laughs> How rude. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe I should get some more guns. I don't think I have enough grenade launchers. Master Chief, Master Chief! Huh? Master Chief! Really, <laughs> <laughs> Jesse? Do you have to cough all over me? <laughs> Take a deep breath and tell me what's wrong. I forgot. How could you have forgotten the way you ran in here? Try to remember. Uh. Um. Wait, do I need more cookies? Oh, yeah, I remember. There's some plushies in the forest, and they need help. What? Plushies? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Yeah. One of them has a broken eye. Come on, come with me. Hurry up. Okay, come on, let's go. <laughs> My name is Master Chief. I'm a friend here of Little Jesse's. If you allow me to, I can take a look at that eye and see what we need to do. Yes, go ahead and look at my eye. Okay, now let me take a look here. But be careful. That is a bad, nasty, open wound. How exactly did you get this? A tree branch was on me, but I don't remember how it happened. You don't remember? Hmm. Okay. Little Jesse, can I talk to you for a moment, please? What's wrong? Why didn't you tell me the suspicious part that they don't remember where they're from? Well, I was scared. That's why I got you, Mr. Superhero. I mean, what are you scared of? They're just plush little animals. You're one big strong guy. They don't look like psycho killers to you, do they? Hmm. Well... Maybe I should just leave you here alone with them. <sighs> look, we're gonna go get the doctor, okay? Okay. How's my eye? Is it gonna get worse? I need someone with more expertise than me to look at that eye. So you guys stay here in little Jesse's tent and we'll be back shortly. Okay, we'll do. Doctor, as soon as you stop jumping on your head, those headaches would go away. Hey, doctor! Thanks for your time! Talk to you later! Doctor? Yes, Master Chief. How can I help you? My apologies for interrupting you, but we have a situation. What's the problem? Little Jesse found these four plushies in the forest where he was at. They're currently in his tent right now. Oh. One of them has an injured eye and will need special medical attention. What about the village? I've already told little Jesse to warn Sugarville to prepare in case this is some kind of surprise attack from the enemy. We'll take Robocop. He'll be able to scan them for any weapons. That's a great idea. Please follow me this way, Doctor. Alright, everyone. This is the special doctor I was talking about. She's going to look you over with her robot medical assistant. Thank you so much for bringing help, Master Chief. Go ahead, Doc. Do your thing. Hello, everyone. I'm going to have my assistant scan each of you to make sure there's no internal infections. It won't hurt, so you have nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> Up your butt. <laughs> this is a big dude. Hey, watch out! Oh, I like how he looks. Well, what are the results? The results show they have no weapons, but their skeleton is abnormal. An abnormal skeleton? You mean as in a deformed bone structure? I'm not sure. Hmm. Do you think 
think we should take him back to Sugarville with us? Let me check out that eye first. Well, I'm going to send a radio signal to Fuzzy to prepare a holding cell for them in case we take them back with us. Hmm. This one looks really bad. And these bandages will need to be changed. Okay. Well, you're the doctor. And I trust you. That's good to know. How did this happen? The branch was on me and none of us remember what happened. None of you remember what happened? So you're all suffering from amnesia. Interesting. That one is getting worse by the minute. And I will need to perform an emergency surgery. Excuse me while I speak with Master Chief for a moment. What do you think? What are your concerns? We can't leave them out here or they will die. But they don't remember what happened. Yes, I thought that too. I thought it was very odd myself. I think we should bring them with us to the village and keep a close eye on them. Okay, well, Fuzzy is prepared at Sugarville for their arrival. So we're secured and ready to go. Alright, let me tell them the news. Okay, everyone. We're bringing you with us to the village. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. All right. Thanks, Doctor. You're very welcome. Please follow us this way. Sugarville is a happy place for good things and all good ones. I'm going to make sure I stay up and not sleep for the next three days and watch everything very carefully. Hey, Freddy. So what do you think? What are your thoughts? I think this is a good opportunity for us. But that Master Chief concerns me, though. We have to be very careful. They don't find out our little secret. Well, let's just keep low, everyone. Foxy, how are you doing back there? I'll be glad when this is all done and over with. Don't worry, Foxy. We're the ones safe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs>